Welcome back everybody to another episode of Sneaker Updates. This will be Sneaker Updates number 16. If you happen to be new here, this has now become a weekly series on the channel. And if you're not familiar with the series, essentially we go over a variety of different sneakers, that of which we got updates for within this week. For example, those of which may potentially include some Nike and Off-White, Yeezys, Jordans, and more. So with that short little intro out of the way, why don't we jump right into this? And I have one more question. What are those? <laughs> Tiger of London. Are you pointing to my pants? Are you pointing to my shoes? Are you pointing, pointing to the bulge in my pants? Hey, like always, we're going to be kicking it off with some Nike and Off-White, but unfortunately, there's not really any new updates other than one small thing at the end. Just to give you guys a brief reminder though, the black off-white zoom fly will drop December 14th for $170 in US only. Then the black and volt off-white Air Force Ones will drop December 19th for $170. And finally, according to Pirates, the Desert Ore and Black Air Max 90 will drop for $160 each January 19th. And then after that, the 10 is done. But the final update that I did have for you guys is to keep your eyes out from now up until February for exclusive access drops of part two releases. As we edge closer to the end of the 10, you will see more and more often exclusive sneakers passes for previous releases and also just exclusive access releases. But anyway, there wasn't really anything for Nike and Off-White as of now. Right now, let's move on to some Yeezys because guys, we got a lot of Yeezy updates to cover. So kicking it off, last week we found out about the Yeezy 700 Salt and also the V2 Static 700. This week, however, we found out about the Yeezy 350 V2 Static. The non 3M pair will be dropping December 27th, right before the Static 700 on the 29th. And finally, the 3M pair will drop in January. Regarding the non 3M pair, they're supposed to be around 50,000 pairs. And I know Yeezy Mafia said 5,000 pairs for the 3M pair. I disagree with this. I do believe that the stock is gonna be 16K to 17K in that vicinity, somewhere in that vicinity. But regardless, it's obviously still going to be a limited shoe, very profitable. Of course, if you want a personal pair, definitely don't sleep on these and luckily even though this isn't necessarily just prime it and these do cost more to manufacture hence they're so limited the retail will stay at 220 anyway moving to spring of 2019 courtesy of northwest we are actually going to be seeing the glow in the dark yeezys brought to life if you don't remember guys a while ago northwest was actually behind the design or the idea of these and not only will this colorway be releasing but in the future we should also be seeing a peach colorway release but regardless of that they should release for 250 dollars each unfortunately at least according to yeezy mafia i would venture to guess that it probably wasn't too cheap to find a way to make prime knit glow but anyway moving on to the next update in spring of 2019 again we will see the yeezy basketball quantum shoe release these shoes shoes actually derived from the basketball shoes that looked like 700s that we saw a very very long time ago but now this is what they look like and unfortunately because of the 3m nba players definitely won't be wearing these moving on to another spring 2019 release according to yeezy mafia we have the yeezy 700 inertia dropping for $300. And finally, I know that previously Yeezy Mafia did state that the Frozen Yellows would release on the 15th. As of now, the adidas.com date still is saying the 14th. However, this could definitely change. And of course, if anything happens, I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you guys 100% updated. Obviously, to stay updated, feel free to turn on post notifications for obviously not just Yeezys, but any shoe. But anyway, with Yeezys out of the way, why don't we move on to some Jordans? Kicking it off, we have the Spider-Verse Jordan 1 dropping December 14th for $160. And then we have the grade school pair dropping the same day for only $120. Now, luckily for you guys who want personal pairs, there is going to be around 180,000 pairs of these. But regardless of that, I do understand that there is extremely high demand on these. So if you want a personal pair, please do not sleep on these. You're not gonna be able to catch them for under retail. And also sizes under 10 will still be profitable if you plan on reselling these. Anyway, moving on to the next update, December 12th, the Rocks Brown One will drop for $160. They come in women's sizes. So if you are a man and you want a pair, you will have to go up 1.5 sizes, obviously, 
females stay true to size for this one. And I would recommend personal only for this one, but I also do not recommend sleeping, especially if you're a man and you want some of those bigger sizes, those will definitely be the first to go. Moving on, the Black Jordan 4 Laser is set to drop next year. It's set for January 19th. And the retail for these should be $190. Otherwise, it probably will be $225, which I don't think is the case. And in addition to the black pair, we are also supposed to later be getting a green and red pair. Moving on to the next update, Mark Wahlberg is raffling off his signed pair of Jordan 4 for only $10 per ticket. Now, I completely understand that you're saying, oh, wow, we have no chance at all here, which, you know, honestly, you don't have a chance at all. But I still wanted to mention this just because the funds are going to wildfire victims. But for that reason, I would say feel free to check it out. You don't have to sign up or anything like that, but just, you know, give it a look. Moving on though, the not for resale Jordan 1s in red are releasing via End Clothing for $220. These are definitely going to be profitable. Obviously we already had the main drop, End Clothing is a little delayed, and we might actually be seeing a few more retailers pop up. Of course, if any pop up, I'm gonna keep you guys updated. And of course, with the red pair there, you guys might be wondering about the yellow pair and of course the yellow pair is releasing in December too now I know you guys were wondering about a date that of which I didn't have before but now I do they will be dropping December 18th for $160 expect stock to be pretty similar to what we saw with the red pair so no they're not going to be an easy cop at all as we edge closer to the release date of course I'll be making a how to cop guy but moving on to the next update the mocha threes are now up on Nike for December 15th for $190, I would definitely recommend going for personal only. I know that this shoe hasn't retroed in a very long time, and for most collectors, they are very excited to see this, but when it comes to reselling these, definitely don't go for them. But of course, it's a pretty universal personal pair. Moving on to the next drop, according to Pirates, the Travis Scott Jordan 6 will drop in spring, summer 2019. The thing to note about these is that men's grade school, preschool, and toddler sizes will be available. Hence, it leads me to think that these are going to be pretty widely available. So if you are interested in getting your first pair of Travis Scott Jordans, this might be the shoe for you. But anyway, moving on to the next release. Speaking of Travis Scott, you guys might be wondering about the Cactus Jack Jordan 4s in green. They were initially going to release November 17th. However, that didn't happen. But now we're still supposed to be getting these before 2019. The rumor date as of now is going to be the 15th. And if they don't drop on the 15th, I'm honestly not sure that they're going to be dropping at all. Of course, when it comes to anything, I'll keep you guys updated. Moving on, expect the cool gray Jordan 4 to drop in 2019, along with many other pairs that haven't retroed in a long time. For example, you guys already know that the Bread 4s and also the Infrared 6s are dropping. Now we finally got news of a long-awaited pair since 2012. We have the Bread 11 dropping in December of 2019. If you guys haven't been watching my channel for a while, you won't know that my favorite shoe of all time is my Bread 11s. Aesthetically, it's the Tokyo 5s, but the Bread 11s will always hold a special place in my heart. I'm not gonna go into the story now because that's not why you guys are here. But obviously, I'm very excited for this release, obviously for personal wear. My pair is kind of beat up already, so moving on to the next update though. Let's start talking about some miscellaneous sneakers. Fear of God once had a real sneaker stash. Not what we usually see where you're actually able to spoof location and get them shipped to you. No, this was actually a legitimate one where you had to show up at the place and purchase them. Bluetooth was enabled so you weren't able to use iTools to spoof and you had to buy them at 1010 Flower Street in LA. But these are going to be dropping on the 15th. So of course, you guys have a second chance to get them and I know the retail is really high on these but I still recommend going for them for resale purposes and of course, if you want a personal pair. According to Pirates, the Mars Yard Overshoe will now drop January 31st for $550. When it comes to this shoe, just like the previous shoe that we just talked about, do not sleep on these. Despite that high retail, they should still be profitable. They're extremely, extremely limited. And for those of you who don't know, there is a Mars Yard inside of this shoe. Unfortunately, it is stitched in, but you can have a customizer take it out for you. Finally, the note I wanted to end on was just a big congratulations to everyone who copped box logos. I know the primary focus on this channel is sneakers, but of course I do want to broaden my horizons for you guys. Supreme has been something I've been collecting for quite a while now. It's just, I wanted to keep this channel focused on sneakers, but if you guys were interested, I'd obviously love to branch off into Supreme. Of course, we would do this little by little, and the focus will always still remain sneakers. 
but unfortunately I actually took an L off the original drop, but after that, luckily I did manage to cop a restock, and then I was also luckily able to reserve a pair with a 415 time slot in Brooklyn, and I did see a lot of you guys there, so it was a pleasure meeting you guys. If you ever see me out in public, please say what's up. I love meeting you guys. I can't even express the smile it puts on my face. But anyway, big congrats to you guys. I saw so much success on my Twitter. Not only that, of course, there was a lot of success within Endurance as well. The restock for that will be January 1st. Again, I'd love to restock now. The only reason I'm not is because there are new members, people who are still learning, and they're not just accounts, they're people. I wanna give them the proper attention they need. And I definitely trust that in a few days, everyone's gonna be fine. But when it comes to Patreon, they charge on the first of every month. I have no control over that. So I wouldn't wanna do a restock in the middle of the month just because then you guys don't get your full money's worth. So yeah, January 1st is the date. Feel free to follow the Twitter for it. With that though, I'll see you guys later. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Feel free to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed or if you perhaps learned a thing or two. Also, subscribe and turn on post notifications to stay 100% updated on any of these releases or future releases. With that, have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Yeah. I should have run the other way. Now there's just one thing to say. Get your foot off my foot. Ah.